Okay, it's finally the day we get to mount the wings. It's just all three wings there. And here's the choice originally with the black wheels and black wing brackets. So I decide to uh, go ahead and make a new bracket instead of just paint the existing Ivan Tavis bracket. So I decided to record this so you guys can see what the CMC, uh, CMC, the Razor Cut water jet in the bracket. One, two, three, four. Four for this one, this particular design. I believe this is the, the lower one for the APR. Four piece. Should be the, the Ivan one. It's very nice. Very sturdy. The edge is not sharp. It won't cut you. So this can go straight into the powder coat. Uh, a heavier wing. This is for the TPLN. This is the TPLN piece. Looking like this one. The better item one. Nice. Let's take a look. This uh, water jet or laser jet. Not sure what I use, but it was cut so good. Amazing. Brian, the Polico shop just picking this up. Beautiful piece. It's done. And the funny thing is, the manager just showed me as I'm picking this up. That over there is APR. And this is my APR is getting there, stop powder coated. The exact same way. So, very nice. I'm so excited. 16 pieces. I gotta take it home and mount it and try it out. So, that is the way the powder coat got, gets done. They hung up on the thing and go into the oven and gets washed. Very cool. So, I just got back from the powder coat company. And here's other pieces. Four for each style. So we got one, two, three. And those are the gaps for the top. And there's another one doing inside. It's going to be stainless steel. Look with a clear coat on it. So the day has came. That's Ivan's wing. That's APR's wing. And the brackets are made. The stainless one is the dragster style I showed earlier. It will be clear coat with 4K later. And these are the black pieces. That's the gap. Ivan's wing, APR's wing. And we're putting it on there. Can't wait. So I'm quickly going to explain what's happening. These are the bolts and nuts. The three. For this three. Oh, it's easier to see it this way. One, two, three. Those are the big uh, bolts and nuts. I believe they are three, eight. And the next one, these are for the wings. The ratchet ones and the flange ones. Okay, those are quarter inch. Depends on which style we're going to go with. And just simply put it on and mount it. I think best for us to do right now is to do the APR and then we'll do that last Ivan's wing because I want to keep that on for a little while. So the way we'll I have it designed the is basically sandwiched pieces. So instead of one sided it's sandwiched. I should, if you sandwich them as a four piece they act more like a table less of a just a two leg item. Looks pretty good. Looks fantastic. And going to put a wing on top of it. The rigidity of now. this also, I'm able to hide all the brackets in the leg. So when you look from the side, the, you can't really see where the bracket is for the wing. 
the bracket or the leg actually covering it up on both sides. It looks really clean this way and give fantastic stiffness. Literally add like a table less of a two leg individual standing. Yep, I think that's it. This will conclude our APR wing. It's a low wing. It looks so cool. Take a look at that, how wide the car is. How I make the car feel. It's a presence. Very cool. Very, very cool. So one feature about this design okay, is that the height, we look very careful as the wing propels upwards. It's about the same height. So part of the spoiler back here acts as a well, wing act, act as a extended spoiler, but on the side where the spoiler goes away, about this, about this section to this section, it turns into a wing. It also creates this tunnel effect. Very cool. Now we're going to step up with a larger piece. This piece uh, is a little heavy, but it's not that much heavier than anything else on the car. I didn't push any holes in because it makes the piece look small and aftermarket large piece. In fact, I extended the leg all the way down by another 4 inches. So in the back it looks a little more substantial. Backdrop is not so great, but it's hard to see that piece is black. Let me melt the wing. I'll we'll take a look. This is probably my favorite piece. Uh, it's large and uh, really fit the car in the, its presence. I could almost do this without the gap, and the middle will hold up well. Not bad choice. So far, let's just play it up a little more. The look it's incredible oh wow that is a really tall wing the best part is right over the roof of the visibility fortunate nice get that lighting correct that is very race car to feel very nice okay the last one is Ivan's wing I'm going to permanently leave it on for the weekend. So, let's put it on. This piece is really beautiful. Um, so this was recorded sometime last week. And I had this wing on sometime today. I tried to open the trunk. I missed by a little bit, so I couldn't fully open the trunk lid. But overall, it's, it's great. It's a, it's a beautiful wing. It's much cleaner design. It's going after the C7R design. Like a tree trunk. And also, it, it covers all the wing brackets. So, on the lower part of the wing, it feels like it's just attached straight to the carbon fiber. And because it's double and fluted, it feels a lot like a Roman column, I feel. Very beefy, it's a 3 three sixteenth inch wide, each piece, and it's just nice. Very stiff, very very stiff, having four legs and cover everything up. At the moment I'm just adjusting, the other is about 6 degrees of adjustment I made, I, I'm adjusting to the lower uh, degree. Testing out the stiffness. Yeah, the wing flex, but the uh, structure doesn't really flex. It's very stiff. You consider it's a four struts to make a very stiff, a very very stiff wing. It's a very very stiff wing. Really cool. Please hit like, subscribe, and see you next video.